So hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for a video that is probably going to make me question my very existence in approximately an hour from now. I would like to consider myself as somewhat of a connoisseur of football games, especially terrible ones, definitely, definitely horrendous ones. But equally we've seen some greats, the likes of This Is Football, Red Card Soccer and even like FIFA from 2001. Today you're going to see absolutely nothing like that whatsoever. We have gone onto the Steam catalog on the PC and searched for the worst football games on there. And we are going to be playing some of those, maybe only one of those, it depends just how catastrophic it is. Now, the first one we're going to be playing is called Lords of Football. Everything they want. There's gambling and drinking involved. This is my type of football game right now. We need to see some of the reviews on this game because this looks outrageous. Recommended. My team is full of alcoholics and sex addicts. 10 out of 10. Broken, unfinished, and damn near unplayable. I only have two major regrets in life. One, buying this game. And two, playing this game. <laughs> it was fun to uninstall. All right, so basically what we're saying is it's got a glowing review. In my opinion, we should just get amongst this. All right, just um, waiting for it to boot up here. We'll uh, be back in a second. Yep, not too long now. Just... I don't know why I put myself through this, honestly. So we've arrived. We're here at the main menu. You can see that they're really embracing the current world of football. No fans in the stadium in the background. All right, please enter a username. Where are we gonna be from? As if this game has DLC. We're gonna be firm carling drinkers. We're gonna stay in England. Oh my God. What is that man's head? He is genuinely receding from every single angle. Uh, Cardiff Blues, or oh, the man changes. He somehow got even more clapped than he was before. This guy's got a face tattoo. Everybody here is a wrong one. These have all got suspect hard drives. This man has got a dent in the right hand side of his head. Oh my god. <laughs> Old bats. My name is Corona. I have to choose them. Yeah, 999. Nine, nine. Sorry, is this the nonce department? Our, our kit doesn't involve shorts or socks or shoes. I feel like that's an issue. Edit the players. Tom Torre de Bison is his nickname. Emmanuel Babatunde. <laughs> Nickname. KSIOLA GDB. Why is Ahmed Rabo the mummy? Oh, he's from Egypt. What? Is that even allowed? This is incredible. They all got like personalities and things that they do. Oh my god. KSIOLA GDB. Right, so we've got a screen thing going on. We've got the underground here. That, that's good. Main act. We've got the casino. Main activity gambling. I would have never guessed, lads. I didn't even know. Right, so it would seem that I've got to train the players here. So that's what I'm gonna do. The mummy. What? Oh, I'm I'm literally carrying. <laughs> This poor man here, Michael Atherton's just on the edge. Nah, mate, you can go over here to the running track. He's not even running. He's just abandoned it. <laughs> you d Listen, I want you to do some sprinting, mate. Oh, you know what, everyone? Everybody just pass. F*** it. I don't care anymore. The official training hours are over. Well, we've really utilised our day very well. Ten players have just passed the ball between each other. That doesn't seem like a very good training drill lads half of them have just gone there's two players in the locker room they've got changed kane burn has changed gender as well why are these lot still here ksiola gdbt is leading the way right i see okay so the players are done with the day now you lot thought you were going home we're doing creativity training glenn <laughs> get in there and do some training <laughs> He's actually got back into his football kit as well. Here we go. We've got someone entering the disco. Not being funny, mate. It's about 8 p.m. Ibrahim Abape is getting his moves on. Oh, hello. We've got a private room through there. Ibrahim, you've got a lot of explaining to do, sunshine. Look at that man. I'm sorry. Every man in this whole game is a nonce. Oh, I've accidentally picked up Abdul. Sorry, mate. I hope I haven't spilled your drink. Oh, go on, lads. Do some speed dating. I've accidentally... <laughs> This is so joke. Abdul, go on, son. <laughs> Make your move. <laughs> oh, we've got a friendly match now. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like we're massively prepared. Everyone was literally just on the lash, so I can't see this going well. 
unbelievable skill there down in the corner. They don't want it. They no. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Clearly they do want it. We're not very good, lads. I, I honestly I can't help but feel half the squad going to the pub and half the squad going to the casino was a bad idea. <laughs> I haven't seen KSI get done that badly since the first Logan Paul fight. Can I just say, these lot have got a player called the schoolboy. I'm all for investing in the youth, but I feel like that's taking it too far. Surely there's regulations in place that prevent a year seven from being involved in this football match. Especially with the absolute predators we appear to have in our squad. An absolutely thrilling first half ends nil-nil. Right, listen, lads, I know what to do. It's a 4-0-6. Listen, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. I will be honest, there's not many bodies in midfield. The schoolboy with a foul can't help but think detention's on the way there. This gameplay is quite honestly cutting edge, isn't it? <laughs> We're playing against that and we're not even winning. Well, there you have it. Nil-nil is the final score. Despite quite a big difference in tactical ideologies, there's a clinic for addiction reduction. How mental is this game going to get if I need to reduce the addiction my players have? You lot can go to the gym. Apart from one of you who apparently is not allowed to go to the gym. Oh, these lot aren't even allowed to... Oh, you know what? Forget it. Just stand and watch, you dickheads. And you. Zivko Hazrev Danova Malovolic. Who is this? And what are they wearing? I'm gonna be honest with you, lads. I think you could put some better technique in. The mummy is, I mean, he's shocking, isn't he? I'm not surprised he's at the back, to be fair. All that tissue paper's getting in the way wrapped around him. Why are there fans here? Who are you? Who are you even cheering? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna simulate this game against Southampton. I don't care about it. It's nil-nil anyway. Phenomenal, okay. Some of your players may not be interested in training today. I mean, oh, KSI's ill. Oh, God. He's getting diagnosed now. He's got a cough and he's blowing his nose. He's got coronavirus. Don't shake the doctor's hand. You're going to give it to him. I mean, it's going to be a great clickbait title, isn't it, really? Right, now, listen, all of you. What I've seen in the last two days simply has not been good enough. You, mummy, stop tying your laces and listen. What I've seen in the last two days has just simply not been good enough and quite frankly I'm gonna need a lot of effort put in from all of you today all right cool that was good enough right here that's it for today lads off you go off they go. The nonces in a line. They genuinely all look like they're on a register. The fans are still here. Lads, I hate to break it to you, but they're not coming back. There's five people at the casino already. Benjamin Burns doesn't look as if he's having a great time. There's five people at the disco already. Oh, Gary O'Kane. Oh, no, I've accidentally taken him off the ball. He was on it. Oh, Gary. I fully cock blocked him. Who's that? Sean Schumer. Macker is a man of the ladies. <laughs> this game is just ridiculous. It's just outlandish. Benjamin Burns is in the exact same place as he was before. Benjamin, when the fun stops, stop. P. Tully has gone to the pump up his ego. He is a di What does that even mean? Oh, God. So our players are having a fight with each other. Stop fighting. <laughs> Why are you all watching on? Sean Schumacher's just like, yeah, this just happens all the time. You know what, Bunnit? It, let them fight out like men. Oh my god. Zivko's just knocked out on main striker. Tully, where are you going, geezer? <laughs> what? He's just walking off. He's absolutely had enough. Is he going back for Zivko? He is. <laughs> right, Tully, mate, I've had enough of this ego addiction. You're going to the clinic therapy. He's just flying about in the background. Right, the lads are just chilling. They're just doing their own thing. But I think that is where we're going to wrap up today's video. Honestly, this game is absolutely outstanding. I can't believe believe it got bad reviews. If you want me to do another video on it or try out the DLC version, like which is in Eastern Europe and America, then feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. If you've got any other suggestions for random indie games or retro FIFA games or just football games of any kind, then drop them down below as well. But if you enjoyed this video, then slap a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. You can also follow me on social media. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Instagram. But well, it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye.